hi there in this video we are going to see how we can generate our own self-signed x509 certificate before we start the video i would like to request you to watch the video completely because at the end we will be looking at some important points in generating the x509 certificates and where are those installed in our computer system so let's get started in order to generate X509 certificate, we need to have OpenSSL in our system. It's a software package which we have to download and install to our system. So let's search for OpenSSL. And we can find the installer from the fifth website, SL Pro Web. I used to download from here. If you scroll down, so we will be getting different versions of the installer. So uh, here is the light installer and uh, the full installer. I will be downloading the full installer for now. And it is gonna take time. So I have already downloaded it. So I will just open it. So here is the installer I have already downloaded. So let's install. So we have to follow the easy steps of the windows to install. So I accept next 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 and here we have to install all the binaries under the bin directory so select this next install so it is gonna take few seconds to complete the installation process Yeah, the installation has been completed now. So I don't want to donate. Let's finish. So now we have to set the OpenSSL in the environment variable. So let's navigate to the bin folder of the OpenSSL. So in the program files, OpenSSL, navigate to bin and copy this path and add it to the environment variables. Go to properties advanced system settings environment variables so in the system variables let's add the path okay so before adding it i'll show you something so if you open the command prompt and if you type open ssl so it says open ssl is not a recognized command so let's add the path now so select this edit add new paste okay now if you open the same command prompt and if you type open ssl now we can see the open ssl prompt so let's come out and then i'll just expand it so that we can see it in better view and i'll keep this here so that uh, we can see what is going on in the background so let's clear first So I'll be generating all the files on the desktop. So let's generate the certificate now. So open SSL, iPhone request, iPhone X509. iPhone days, and we have to give the validity day for the certificate. So I'll be giving 365 days then hyphen new key rsa colon the length of the key so it should uh, i want to keep it as 2048 hyphen key out now we have to provide our private key file name so private hyphen key dot pam then we have to provide this certificate name hyphen out certificate dot pam so now we have to provide the password so i'll be keeping one two three four five six easy for now one two three four five six now we have to provide the following details country name in 
state location organization name so organization unit it so this is a common name which we have to provide for our certificate so it will be tmt email address so here we can see the private key and the certificate generated so these are the private key and the certificate generated so let's merge them to a pfx file so open ssl pkcs12 hyphen export hyphen in and we have to provide our certificate name so certificate dot pam hyphen key in and we have to provide our private key name private hyphen key dot pam hyphen out and then we have to provide our certificate name so what is the name of the certificate we want to keep that is the combined certificate of the private key and the certificate so i'll be keeping it as tmd.pfx oh sorry it's not key in it's in key so we have to enter the password uh, which we have given for our certificate so it will be one two three four five six and then we have to create a new password for the certificate tmd.pfx which we are creating so i am keeping it as same one two three four five six one two three four five six so now here we can see a certificate has been generated so this is the certificate we can use so let's generate public key corresponding to this so here we have the private key we have the certificate and this is the combined certificate of this certificate and the private key so th this is uh, like encapsulation of the private key and the certificate so we don't have to share this to the external users so we will be sharing only the uh, public key so let's generate the public key now open ssl pkcs12 hyphen in and then we have to pass our pfx file name tmd.pfx hyphen c l t e r t s hyphen no keys hyphen out and then we have to pass our public key name so public hyphen key dot pam so we have to pass the password for the tmd.pfx file so one two three four five six and there we go it's generated so now in total we have these four files one is the private key other is the certificate and other is the public key and this is the combined of the private key and the certificate so let's install the pfx file so i want to install for the current user so let's click next next and give the password one two three four five six and so it's installed so where i can see uh, where is my certificate installed so just search for the certificate and here you can see the manage computer certificate and manage user certificate so just remember we have installed the certificate for the current user so it will be under the user certificate so let's go to the user certificate and here in the personal if you expand it you will be having the certificates so here we can see the tmd certificate installed so let's uninstall and uh, reinstall and check so let's click next next password next and done so let's refresh bingo so if we see the details 
so if you double click here so you will be getting the details of the certificate so in the certificate we have this version the serial number the signature algorithm which is SAR 256 RSA and the issuer so here we can see the issuer details this is the email the common name CMD the organization unit the organization the location the state and the country so similarly we have the valid from that is April 25th 2021 and it, it is valid up to April 25th 2022 so that's 365 days we have given and in subject we have the same details as in the issuer so this is public key and you can see the you can see it is RSA 2048 so here while generating the key we can see yeah it is RSA 2048 so this is the key length and this is the thumbprint and these are the other details so we have other option to install for the local machine so let's click next so password it is installed so now this is for the current user so let's uh, check for the local machine so again search for the certificates here we have the manage computer certificates so let's and if you go to the personal and to the certificates you will be having this TMD and we have the same details here as well so now I don't want all these things to come in my subject or in the issuer so what should we do so let's delete this and let's generate a new one which is having the key size of 1024 and the validity will be changing to 1000 days and we don't want other details to be displayed in the issuer details so let's generate again so here let's delete these files so that we'll be generating with the same file names and I'm just using the same command but here I'll be changing this key size so I'll be making this key size to 1024 and the validity to 1000 so it will be valid for 1000 days let's press enter password let's verify password and now here we can see if you enter dot the field will be left blank so let's click dot 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 so one thing should be noticed that the common names should not be left blank so let's uh, give some name to it email id blank and that's it now our private key and the certificate has been generated so let's generate the pfx file now so here everything looks good so let's type password export password for the pfx file one two three four five six one two three four five six that's it here it's installed now so similarly let's export the public key and one two three four five six password and boom we have it so now let's open this TMD let's install for the current user password now let's check certificates for the current user and here in this we have the certificate called TMD and if we check this details now in the issuer we have just CN equals to TMD and in the subject we have this CN equals to TMD and other details are same and here we can see the public key size is 1024 now and initially it was 2048 so this is how we can change this public key size and how we can change the issuer name and so, so that's it for the video guys I'll be providing the OpenSSL download link in the description if you like the video please give thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.